So let's talk about a very straightforward tool that everyone yes. listening can use. And I love this, Michael. It's a technique that you can use to do a reality check on your uncertainty so that it doesn't hold you back and it's not overblown. And that's mm -hmm. what's really important. Yeah, so what, what we're using, and this is something that I, I teach the guys that go through core confidence with me, um, this technique is called a courage card. And it's designed to disarm the hot, cold empathy gap. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what the courage card is, and then I'll explain the hot, cold empathy gap. So the courage card is a small piece of paper or a note on your phone where you answer the following questions to a scenario where you find yourself in often. And it's the question, number one, what's the worst that could happen? Be realistic. And, and really be realistic, right? Sometimes people say, well, the worst thing that could happen is that um, I get thrown out of my company and I get fired and I'll never get a job again and I'll sleep under bridges. Yeah, it's not really realistic. Like what's, what's the realistic thing, right? Um, question number two is on a scale from zero to 10, how likely is this outcome going to be? Number three, if this worst outcome actually happens, will that still matter three months in the future? Number four, how would it feel if you tried? No, just try. I'm not, not saying anything, just, just try, right? How awesome would it feel if you tried? And number five, how would you feel if you actually succeeded? So you write this down for the answers, you write this down on a piece of paper for all those sit situations where you find yourself dealing with anxiety and uncertainty. And then you keep them in your pocket. And the next time you go into that situation and you're all stressed out, you're all anxious, you bring out this piece of paper and you read through it. Now, here is where the hot, cold empathy gap or cold, hot empathy gap, one of those two, um, comes in. Because the, the usual problem that we have is we can think rationally about things before we're in the situation, but once we're in the situation, like everything bubbles up, we're just, you know, there's anxiety, there's stress, there's all there's this elevated heart rate, which is freaking out and everything seems to go wrong. So this is why we write this courage card when it's when, when, when we're cold, when we can look at this rationally. And then when it really gets crazy, that's when we look at this. It's like, hey, back then I wrote this a week ago. Yeah. I was, you know, sane of mind. I was very rational. And this is what I what I came up with. So, you know, this is probably more the truth than what I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to go with that. I love the courage card. It's it's fantastic and it works. It helps you work through all the things that you're feeling in a very uh, based, reasonable way. And I want to add I want to add one question to it. Number six. Will freaking out help you in this moment? <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. Go freak out. How, how's that going to serve you in this moment? I, that's the one that I was always in the back of my head. It's like, oh, well, how, okay, you feel like freaking out. Okay, will that help you in this moment? Go, go for it, right? <laughs> no, that's working against us. And, and here's the thing. When we actually sit there calmly, coolly break down, what's the worst that could happen? What's the feeling I'll have if I tried? What's the feeling I'll have if I succeed in this area? Well, that rationalization happening before the fact oftentimes gets you to a place where you don't have to pull out the card. Mm -hmm. You walk mm -hmm. in exactly. with a feeling of security that I know that I've already game planned everything. I've already worked through all the different outcomes and now I can take that step forward. Now, this is all about commitment, right? Yes. This is about showing up yeah. and following through. Well, one of the things you mentioned there that was very important we're not really in control of the outcome. A lot of times it's not up to us. However, we are 100, we're in control of the effort. We're 100% in control of that effort. And so in order to feel good or create that destiny in the best of your ability, that's going to be on you. Yeah. And taking that step forward mm -hmm. in these moments of uncertainty. Now, obviously we talked about removing toxic relationships. And when we remove relationships, that does create a lot of uncertainty in our lives mm -hmm. and it does create a lot of discomfort. So thinking clearly about, okay, I've identified my friends who are toxic. I've identified that these relationships are not serving me. Now with that courage card going through, what's the worst that could happen if I lose this friend? Okay, well, I'm not gonna have that person to talk to. Okay, well, lunch is gonna suck at work. They're not gonna be hanging out with me anymore. Okay. On a scale of zero to 10, how likely is it that you're not gonna have anyone to talk to at work? 
right? Oh, well, it's not pretty much out of 10, right? You start working through these things and all of a sudden mm -hmm. you realize that, man, I'm not even close to being rational with these thoughts, mm -hmm. right? I'm having all these mm -hmm. emotional flare ups that aren't even rational, that aren't even tied to any reality. And I think that's really the power of this courage card, having that in your pocket, having some faith that following through is where the magic happens, allows us to deal with the, that uncertainty that's holding us back.